everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm doing the first real wall boarding of the front of the house. I've done a little bit between some of the windows earlier, but this is the first day that I'm really going to just start going across it. I've got one wall board up here already. Uh, I usually start in the corner and then kind of work my way across. I put this one up and made some marks on one side about where uh, the strapping here uh, uh, met it. Took it down, uh, drew a line across those marks, and then cut it. And so now there's a perfect surface across the front of the house that matches not necessarily, you know, you hope that the front surface of your house is straight, but if it's not, you want to uh, make actual marks so that you have this, uh, you know, so it's nice and flush with the front of the house. And this board is going to be the first one that goes up right here. Now, I'm, in a moment, I'm going to take this, screw it up here, and I'm going to make a mark on the back side because, uh, you know, again, while you hope that this is a nice flat surface, if there's any kind of a curve to it, you want it to get matched in the board here. In fact, I noticed that there's a little bit of a bowing out up at the top over there, and I want to make sure that I cut this with the same kind of a, a bow so it'll just match and be a nice square corner. The way that I'm uh, uh, arranging these, these are shiplap boards, is, uh, you know, you put one down, then you put the next one, and it overlaps this little uh, tongue here. The next one overlaps, overlaps, and keeps going like that. I'm orienting them in this direction as opposed to this direction, and that's because we get most of our wind coming from the west, generally speaking. So if you ever have a hard driving rain and you had your boards like this, the wind would tend to blow the rain down into the crack. Uh, into the crack. And if you have them like this, the wind would tend to blow the uh, rain kind of past the crack a little bit. That doesn't mean our rain always comes from the west, but generally, more often than not, when we have wind, that's the direction it's coming from, so that's the way I'm orienting the boards. All right, so uh, first step here uh, is to get this guy up there. I'm going to get it plumb to make sure it's nice and straight and up and down. I'm going to secure it down, and then I'm going to make that mark. So I've got too many tools in my hands. Tool belts are occasionally quite helpful, I think. I'm having them uh, un o um, overhang the bottom a little bit, and the reason for that is so that I get a nice drip edge. Let's get this guy... Nice and plumb. Yeah, that's looking pretty good right there. Just going to make sure that it goes out far enough so that I'm not into the uh, into the, t the tongue part. Alright, is that far enough? Woo, jeez. You guys almost watched me go over. You know what I might do is I might sink this this bottom screw just to make this a little bit easier. Alright. So I'll sink this. That way I can just kind of rotate this thing. That makes it a lot easier. Okay, so that's where it wants to be. It's got enough overhang over there, so I'm going to sink another screw. Okay, cool. So now, I come down. I don't know why I always try to skip the last few steps of every ladder. It's not like it saves me much time at all. Alright, I'm going to uh, trace the contour of this side right here. Alright, and now I've got a line on the back of this board for cutting, so I'll take that back down, cut it. Uh, I'm going to put another coat of seal on it. Yeah, all these boards are covered in one coat of seal. I want to put two coats of seal before I put them up. And then I put it up and I've got my first corner set. This is the hardest part, is starting at the corner. If you do this well, once this is done, it's pretty easy sailing across the rest of it. That's it. Thanks for watching.